Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this time we are talking about the U.S. Indian boarding schools. You may have seen back in May, the Interior Department released a report that detailed their initial investigation into the history and the effects of these boarding schools that were primarily funded by the government, but also run by multiple churches. The history is incredibly painful and the investigation is ongoing. There is a bill, H.R. 5444, that is currently still in the subcommittee, but is part of the overall federal boarding school initiative investigative report. Uh, as well as the Truth and Healing Commission, which is investigating the government's role as well as the church's hand in the abuse that was conducted at these schools. Now, that being said, there is a bit of a misconception that goes around, um, primarily because up in Canada they are going through their own truth and healing reconciliation process up in Canada. The last Indian boarding school was closed in 1996, whereas here in the United States, we still have a handful that remain open today. Now, keep in mind that many of them are now being operated by the local tribes. Unfortunately, there are a few that are still being run by the church and one that is run by the state that is currently being investigated federally um, for their financial practices. There is one school that I have spoken about on extensively on TikTok. I also have another video detailing their attempts to avoid accountability um, in terms of past uh, court cases uh, where evidence of abuse, of past abuse was brought forward. While that case was being heard in the early 2010s, the same lawyer that was representing the school authored a bill that made it so anyone who wasn't specifically the abuser could not be held accountable for the abuse. Now, the reason why this is important is because the priest that is was being accused of the abuse died before the trial could take place. Now, treatment of students have improved at these schools, but there is very large questions of financial practices, specifically at St. Joseph's Indian School, but there are other schools that follow the same pattern where they use what can really only be described as poverty porn, um, letters of fictitious children highlighting very stereotyped, heavily negative letters being sent to solicit donations. Upwards of $50 million annually as of 2014. Completely unchecked donations that were being gathered globally. St. Joseph's is still sending out letters mass mailings to primarily religious elderly populations. My parents receive them every Christmas. Mailer packets filled with made in China ornaments and um, fake dream catchers. Letters supposedly written by the students thanking people for their donations so they can continue reading their Bibles. There may not be any current cases of abuse, but 
the school's history alone, as well as their current financial practices, absolutely warrant a deeper investigation. Unfortunately, since the school is privately funded, there is only so much the federal government can do. Leaving me with the only thing that I can ask anyone who sees these videos is to stop sending these people your money. Reach out to your religious elderly family members and find out if they are donating to these schools and educate them on the history and ask them to stop. These schools and churches cannot be allowed to continue to profit off of the stories and images of indigenous children. And knowing that these schools still exist with the upcoming ICWA court decision coming in front of the Supreme Court in November, I am afraid of history repeating itself. I have extensive resources on the history of residential schools uh, via the links in my bio. I will have resources here that you can look at in order to educate yourself on the history of these boarding schools. And with September 30th coming up, which is Orange Shirt Day celebrated in Canada and here in the United States, it is incredibly important that as many people as possible know the history and be ready to educate as many other people as possible. Thank you.